This video was brought to you by Indently.io, learning Python made simple. How's it going everyone? In today's video, we're going to be exploring a new feature which is available in Python 3.13. And what we're going to be covering today is the new at deprecated decorator. So to get started, I've created a module called database just to demonstrate how useful this decorator actually is. And the very first thing we're going to do is import from UUID, UUID4 and UUID, because I want to create a sample database that contains users and UUIDs. And since this part's not important, I'm just going to paste it in. But what we have here is a database of type dictionary of string to UUID. And each one of the users inside the database has its very own UUID which means if we were to print this database, what we're going to get as an output are three users with unique identifiers. Anyway, one of the functions we're going to want to have inside this database module is a function that actually checks whether a user exists. And if it does exist, it's going to return the user and the UUID. And that function is going to look like this. So what I did here is create a function called exists and it's going to take a name of type string and then it will return to us a tuple of string to UUID, which is either one of these users or it's going to return none if it cannot find the user. Then the implementation is quite simple. We first lower the name because we want this to be case insensitive and then we return the user and the database at the index of the user if the user is inside the database, else we just return none. And that's really all the functionality we need for this database. So next I'm going to go to main.py and I'm going to write some code that imports this functionality from database import exists. Then inside here, I'm going to create my usual if name is equal to main check and the main entry point for my program. Now inside here, we can print exists and we can enter the name we want to search for, such as Bob. And if Bob exists, it's going to return Bob with the UUID. So let's run this. And what you should notice is that Bob has this UUID. Otherwise, if we type in something such as one, two, three, nothing's going to be returned or it's going to return none because it did not find that user. Anyway, pretend we've had this module for quite a while now. And eventually we decided that this function name doesn't really describe what it does that well, and we want to update it. Well, obviously you can just go back to the function and update it to something else such as search. And that's going to work just fine if it's a simple project. The major problem with what we just did here is that if there are other people that are using this functionality, this is going to lead to what is known as a breaking change because the previous name is what other people are going to be using. And the new name requires them to actually change their code base completely. They're going to have to refactor that manually. So instead of changing it here, what we're going to do is copy this and paste it down here and change the name to search. And there's also a chance you might need to change the implementation details. So whatever you want to do, you can put it inside the new function. Anyway, now we have the function that we've updated and that we will want other developers to use as soon as possible. But as it stands, if we were to go to main, there's no sign that we're using a function that's about to be deprecated. Even if we were to import search and we were to print search Bob, at this point, we have no idea which one is the one that we should be using. And that's where the at deprecated decorator comes in because we want to tell people that they should not be using this and that soon it's going to be removed from our database module, which many people might be relying on. So what we're going to do here is type in at deprecated. And this is actually something we need to import from warnings. So from warnings, import deprecated. And then we can add a deprecation message that exists is deprecated. Please use search instead. And thanks to this simple decorator, now when we go to our main entry point, you're going to notice a few things if you're using an intelligent code editor, such as PyCharm. One thing you're going to notice immediately is that we're going to get the function crossed out. And something else we're going to notice is that if we hover over it, we're going to get the message, the deprecation message that exists is deprecated. Please use search instead. Now, when something's deprecated, it doesn't mean that it's not going to work anymore. It can mean that the developers have decided to not support it anymore and that they might remove it at any point in the future. So you should not rely on it anymore. In Python 3.13, 
we have exists, but maybe in Python 3.14, exists is not going to exist anymore. Also, if we were to just run exists by itself, Python's going to give us a deprecation warning that exists is deprecated. Please use search instead. It's still going to work. As you can see, it returned none, but now we're getting warnings, which are very useful for people who actually use this function throughout their project, because now they have the opportunity to update it to search. So now we can search for one, two, three, and it works exactly the same way, except it has a better name and it might have some better implementation details. And it was as simple as that to use the at deprecated decorator. Just type in at deprecated on the function that you want to deprecate. And then you need to insert a deprecation message. This is required. You can't get away with nothing. If you just type in at deprecated, it's not going to work. And I wonder if you can just type in none. Uh, it actually expects a message. So provide a message so people actually know why you're deprecating it and enjoy this decorator. It's so cool that we have this in Python 3.13. It just makes deprecating functionality so much easier. But yeah, that's just about everything I wanted to cover in today's video. Do let me know in the comment section down below how hyped you are about this decorator and whether you're already using it or not. But otherwise, with all that being said, as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.